There is some interesting things about these quite famous beetle statues that lie here now. There's something unique about all of them. And no, not the rose on Paul McCartney. I am in Liverpool, as you can see by the gentleman over my shoulder. I was meant to be going away on a foreign journey, but it's got cancelled due to COVID. So I'm in Liverpool, got a last minute deal on a cheap hotel, and I'm going to take you to some beetle locations over the next few days, weeks, uh, including Strawberry Fields, the cavern, where they first recorded, where they debuted with Ringo, lots of things to look forward to. Um, but I thought I'd start at Pierhead and uh, show you some interesting things about these quite famous statues that were placed here the month I left Liverpool. I used to live in Liverpool. I left, they, those statues appear. Anyway, enough about me. I hope you enjoy the next few videos. <laughs> you might notice. Paul McCartney is carrying a camera, said to be a nod to his departed wife, Linda McCartney Eastman, who was a photographer, who took some very famous rock and roll pictures, and that's there for Linda on George. If you go behind him, you'll notice the Indian style writing. I have no idea what any of it means, but I imagine it's a nod to his interest in Indian music and Indian culture and lifestyle. Now, Ringo, unfortunately, I might not be able to get down because I'm a bit sore. Uh, let me turn you around. Well, believe me, on the sole of his foot is the number eight, and it's said to signify his. Uh, he was from L8 postcode, where he was born and grew up. Which, if I get time on this trip, I might take you to. Um, now John Lennon is in his hand, again it's pretty dark, so you might not be able to see. If you can see, can you see that? John is carrying two little acorns and also a rose down here, or well, a few flowers. And I imagine that's because we're just after the anniversary of his death. And the acorns signify 50 acorns tied in a sack. The, uh, that lyric is in reference to the acorns John and Yoko planted at Coventry Cathedral, I believe, in 1969. And maybe, who knows, I will uh, get to that lo location one day. That lyric always confused me when I was uh, growing up. What the hell does that mean? Well, yeah. I hope you enjoy the next few videos. I'm going to try and do Ringo's home, the LA postcode, and George's home. I'll put a link a few years back. The last time I was in Liverpool, I ran to a few of the locations, including John and Paul's house. 
So if you want to see theirs, I have done them in the past, I don't want to redo them, even though I do them in a bit of a different style these days. And for myself, I hope it's a substitute for my uh, first foreign trip in three years being cancelled again. Anyways, I'll be going to uh, Strawberry Fields and a few places that the Beatles played, the Cavern, obviously, and just some Beatles stories.